questions and comments. The uh, Honourable Member for Surrey North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, I listened to the Finance Minister's speech on this particular bill, and I want to share a couple of uh, stories out of my community, Mr. Speaker, and I want to ask the question to the Finance Minister. I've had two dangerous offenders uh, 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 released into the community. Uh, one of them, uh, Mr. Speaker, sadly, uh, uh, he was a sex offender, sadly uh, ended up uh, murdering a very young uh, uh, girl. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the, second, uh, 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 the second offender that was released uh, last month, James Conway, uh, he was actually uh, dropped into the community with the several conditions to monitor him in the community. Uh, those were the similar conditions put on to the previous sex offender. Uh, this individual, was uh, James Conway, was uh, actually arrested after nine days roaming around in the community. Thankfully, we've had uh, success in arresting them. Uh, I've, I've heard from the community, Mr. Speaker, once these individuals are released into the community, there's lack of funding, lack of monitoring for these individuals. And since uh, we had a Minister of Finance here, I want to ask him, does he have additional funding to monitor these individuals? We had a program called Circles of Accountability and Support. That funding has been cut by this government. We, this government also promised more RCMP support to the communities. That has been, uh, hasn't been delivered, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my community, my mayors, my community, my constituents are asking this government, this uh, finance minister, whether there will be additional funding to the programs that monitor these monsters in our communities. The Honourable Minister of Finance. 